Hello awesome and amazing people. How's your day going? Janine here. As a mindset alchemist, I love helping you understand what your thoughts, your words, your actions and your feelings are doing so that you can know what is happening in your life, what you are creating and how you can shift it around. And this is one of the reasons why I love looking into the energy of the week and of the month. Today we're going to be doing the week so that you can have an understanding of, oh my goodness, this is what's going on and this is what is happening. Because ultimately when you have a heads up, now remember it's the potential, it's the potential for everybody. So if something doesn't resonate, just let it go. And this is for the week of the 25th of July, 2020. Can you believe it? We're already more than halfway through the year. What we are looking at when I first asked, I started saying, okay, well, what is the energy of this week? The word that came forward was flexible. What came forward after that was be creative and celebration, balance, fruition, renewal, and detachment. And the reason for this is you are being asked to look at, are you creating your destiny or are you working with fate? And the difference is, your flexibility around are you going to look at creation rather than staying stuck that is the bottom line of the energy this week you are also being asked to celebrate because when you bring joy forward it allows for a much higher vibrational creation it allows for far more possibilities and allows you to come forward so you are being asked to see the possibilities of the new beginnings that are flowing in. There's been a lot of change. We've been told uh, to keep reassuring ourselves that this too shall pass. And there are many, many new beginnings waiting for you to come in. You are being asked to remain flexible in your thoughts around situations and the ways of doing things. Rather ask, is there another way? Is there a more aligned way? How can I do this? How can I do that? And just keep looking at your thoughts. Are they thoughts of creation or thoughts of lack? Is that fear of change coming forward? Because this is very much what's going to be brought to you so that you can let go of it. And that's the other reason why we ask to celebrate. Because it shifts that fear of change. It shifts that and it really allows far more aligned new possibilities in. You are being asked to look and see that things aren't always as they seem to be. And just because something looks bad doesn't mean to say it is bad. And just because something looks uncomfortable, yes, it might be uncomfortable. Be flexible about it and ask how you can use it to create. Trust is also coming forward and you are being asked to understand that you are trusting the events and knowing that the universe always has your back and you may not be able to see the bigger picture. And that's why you ask, okay soul, what would you like me to do, be or create today? And that will help you navigate this week. Look at your fear of lack in the face and ask, what am I to create now? Where am I being asked to create it and who am I creating it with? Let go of having to have an immediate answer. This is very, very important this week. Stop, consider, look at things. Don't rush. Follow the whisper no matter how ridiculous it seems. Hang in there and follow that whisper. Things are coming to fruition. Abundance is flowing towards you and you'll be reaping what you sow and this is why I'm saying be very aware of your thoughts your feelings and your actions and look at something and say is this something that I would like long term it, am I happy with it short term what are the implications of it the way you're thinking the way you're designing and look very very focusedly onto your dream and have those feelings and those emotions Remember to also give back to the world. Ask, how may I serve in this situation? Where can I use my talents and my gifts to create more and to be more and to add more? Who am I being asked to serve and to help? Plant those seeds of service because as you plant those seeds of service, those seeds of celebration, the universe looks at them and says, oh wow, they would like to serve. Let me bring more forward. They would like to... Um, celebrate let me bring more to celebrate along you're also being asked to look at what is your authentic purpose what inspires you and where are you being asked to be inspirational 
tap into how you are responding to situations and be very, very aware of what you are creating. Remember, fun, family and celebration. It's quite interesting because in my uh, group, my membership group, Lion came forward and Lion is about knowing when to act and when to rest. And that is very much what you are being asked to do as well. You are being also being asked to let life flow. Understand that you don't truly own anything or anyone. That you are here to co-create with it. Not even your home. I mean, not even money. Even money changes. I mean, I had coins and I took them back to the bank and the bank said to me, we can't exchange it. That's not legal tender anymore. I said, well, how do we get to do it? Anyway, we did sort it out. And it was so interesting. I was listening to a podcast and it happened to that person as well. And I think the reason why they worked with me was I refused to go into victim energy and I just decided this is going to work out for me. So they did exchange it. Remember that you have got gifts, you have talents, and it's to tap into them with the mind to envision and see what the best use of them is. Understand where you are now and look at where you would like to go to, what it is you'd like to create. Most importantly, be flexible, creative, trust in that process and let go of how you expect the outcome to come forward this is very very important so say like you do something and you say oh it'll it'll work out like this this and this well if it doesn't that's okay just look at yourself and say well what are the infinite possibilities this is what i would like this is the feeling i would like what are the possibilities of creating it? And let me tell you, when you put the universe on the job, it really, really, you get three times, a million times better and with far less effort and work. Let me know if you've watched this. Let me know what questions you have and have a wonderful, incredible and amazing day. Bye-bye. Oh, and remember, celebrate this week as you create. Bye.